Hey YouTubers, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to use Sketch 3 to design the UI for an app. And this video was actually released in the course. Uh, we're building a sort of like a quiz type app and so this lesson was a course lesson uh, that showed how to design the UI using Sketch. And so I just adapted it for YouTube and I'm going to show you guys the first part of at least designing the first two screens and yeah, hope you guys can get uh, a feel for Sketch. Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about the redesign of the Objective-C Trainer app, this time done with Sketch, Sketch 3 to be exact. And I think in general it's a, a major improvement from the old design. I feel like this one is in general more pleasing to the eye and more exciting. And we can definitely play with the gradients in the background which changes the whole look and feel of the screen. So let's go through some of the screens and how it's changed. This is the question screen, specifically for a multiple choice question. And as you can see here are the three choices. And when you select one, the two, uh, the two wrong answers fade away and the right one kind of slides up. Here's what a fill in the blank question would look like. You just have a text box and uh, a go button. And here's what uh, find the error question would look like. And after you tap on the image, uh, the screen would dim and it would highlight where you would supposed to tap. And here's what the menu would look like. And this is probably where a lot of uh, a lot of it differs from the old design because instead of having a separate stats screen I decided to incorporate it into the menu so there are three categories of questions easy medium and hard so I decided to incorporate this cell kind of like as a progress bar indicating how much you got right versus how much attempts you made at in that category so this kind of serves as a stats screen so we don't need a separate one the reset button is to reset the stats. Uh, we still have the remove ads screen, which you can see right beside it here. It's just going to dim the whole screen and have these two buttons. And then instead of an about screen, which I also had in the old app, I will have a button saying visit website, which will bring the user to a web page on my site telling people about the app. So I feel like in this way I've simplified the app a lot more uh, and kind of removed a lot of sections so it doesn't feel as heavy. So in this video I'm going to show you how I put together this design in Sketch. Okay so to start Sketch is kind of made for iOS design almost because if you create uh, a new file from a template you have these options. So I selected iOS UI design and it starts you off with uh, this screen right here, which you can kind of get rid of. You don't need this stuff. So what I did was I basically just deleted that. I chose delete the layers, uh, deleted this. I deleted all of this. Okay. And I inserted an artboard from this side. You can select a uh, portrait and I called this the multiple choice screen. It's my first screen. I actually set the position to zero, zero. You can hold down space bar and your mouse becomes a hand, then you can pan around. Okay, so the first thing I did was I, I added a background to this guy and you can just select it select it right here I just gave it this light green background uh, the second thing I hit R for a rectangle tool and I just drew drew a rectangle to about that and you might need to play with the sizing a little bit because if it doesn't snap into place you go into this part right here change to position to zero zero the width is 640 and the height you can leave it as is, but this is uh, where I 
disabled the border for the fill I went to this gradient right here and I just selected this gradient and then I selected the rectangle again and you can change the opacity either from this control or you can just simply hit one on your keyboard for 10% or two for 20% and so on. I think for this one I did about um, like a 50 or 60%. So let's do a 60% there. And then I, I added the question. I hit T for text and I just added a new piece of text there. I uh, center aligned it. So there's my question. And what's cool is that you can actually select the element you want, hold down Alt, and you can see, you can keep holding it while you move it, and you can see how to kind of move it into the middle. It's a little fidgety, but you can even do that. Oh, I must have accidentally created another one. Let me delete the first one. All right, so that's in the middle. Okay, then I hit R to create another rectangle. And this time I wanted to do the questions area. So I created another one this time for the whole thing. Uh, position, I always seem to have to change the position. So go zero, that's fine. But the width is 640, you wanna cover the whole thing. I always get rid of the border. I don't need that. I change the fill, change it to something like that. And then I was playing a lot with the opacity actually. So this one I've got at a like 40% opacity. Uh, and then I created some blocks here, kind of like for a status bar. I changed this one, got rid of the border, changed this one to a, a dark gray. And then I highlight this and if you press Command D, you can actually just duplicate it and make another copy. So that's what I did. Selected a different color for this guy. And then finally I duplicated it again, stretched it out, and this time chose an even lighter gray. Uh, T, put some text here. Uh, I did a bold with the size. Smaller size, something like that. And then at this point, I did a rectangle. As you can see, it's all very boxy. I kind of eyeballed it here. Uh, for the color, I chose a, I chose three different shades of green. I think I chose a kind of slightly olive type green here. Uh, but, but then what I did was for this one I made the opacity 
something like that. And I duplicated it so that I have another one. And then I made this one thinner. Like so. And this one was at 100%. So I think this one was maybe 80 wide. Maybe not that wide, maybe 70. Right, and then I highlighted both of these. I hit uh, duplicate to move them down. And I would select a different color for these guys. I think all I did was actually maybe use this dropper tool uh, and then go down a little like that. And then for this guy, use the dropper tool, select that. So let's put some text on this guy. So I chose light. I made it pretty big. It might have been ultra light. Maybe not. Maybe it was just light. Uh, once again, Command D to duplicate it. Oops, and the layering ordering is awesome. I'm just gonna move this guy up there. So the topmost layers are the one that's uh, most visible. I'm just going to play around with these colors a little bit. I was playing around a lot with the opacity. These duplicate by pressing Command D. Okay, and now I'm going to modify these colors again, slightly lighter. Duplicate that, move it down here. Now I've got three, uh, three question for selection. Now I'm a little bit off in this one because I have so much space left down here. You know what I could do? I could just select everything by holding down shift. and then just slowly drag everything down like that and drag this one down a little bit now I can add some text here Duplicate that, duplicate it again. The duplicate function is actually, uh, the shortcut key is actually very handy. Okay, and then finally I created a 
kind of bar down here. Okay, so width is 640, position is zero. I got rid of the border. I made this a dark gray, but I made it uh, like a 20% opacity maybe, or maybe 10%. And what I did was I hit duplicate, command D, and I just did that. Add some text there for skip button. I'm so used to pressing V for move from Photoshop, but in Sketch, V turns out to be the vector pen tool. Okay, so that's how I made the multiple choice screen. And to do the next screen, basically all you do, there's this handy command where um, you can select the whole, the whole kind of artboard and you go to arrange, go to make grid. And I, if I want to duplicate one on the right, I would say I want two columns and I want the margin to be 10 pixels. And then it would just duplicate this right here. Uh, so then now I can just go ahead and rename it over here. Right, and then what I can do is for the correct answer, I can delete all of this, delete, delete. Because what I want the result to be, is move this up there, and skip would become next. So that's what the result would look like for a multiple choice question. Okay, so that was designing the first two screens of our app using Sketch 3. And if you want to watch the rest of the video or more videos like this, I highly encourage you to consider joining the course and finding more about it. Uh, you can either click the link in the annotation or in the description. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.